guys, Scarin9 here, welcome back to my channel today. If you guys have missed the other two episodes in the series, make sure you go ahead and click the I in the top right hand corner of the screen to be taken to those videos. Remember that if you do learn something in this video, you should leave a like rating, but if you do happen to know all five facts, you can leave a guilty free dislike rating. Also make sure to subscribe for more awesome Destiny content, but without far further ado, let's get into it. Five things you did not know about Destiny, number three. So our first thing has to do with the helium filaments located on the moon. Did you guys know that these are actually a representation of something that is pretty prominent in our real life? Well, our moon actually has a very abundant supply of helium-3, which is an isotope of helium that produces large amounts of energy. Many companies are even looking into the process of figuring out ways to efficiently go to the moon, mine this substance, and bring it back to Earth for energy usage. This explains why these helium filaments have an orange glow in Destiny. It signifies that the energy is being held within this item. I think it is really awesome that Bungie pays this much attention to detail when making the different areas within Destiny. If anyone is interested in reading more about this topic, I will have a link to the article that I read in the description down below. Next, we are going to be looking at a figure that shows up many times within the Destiny universe, but is never really explained. This figure would be the Jade Rabbit. This can be found on some of the SRL sparrows and equipment on a calling card, and there's even an entire PS exclusive gun named after it. However, did you guys know that the Jade Rabbit is actually a prominent figure within Chinese and Korean mythology? On screen, you can see an actual depiction of this mythological creature. It is known for living on the moon, which is where we can get the calling card for the Jade Rabbit in Destiny in the first place. It is also known for mixing an elixir that grants the individual immortal life. Just like with the helium filaments, I really do appreciate how much attention Bungie pays to real life sources. It really helps make this game world seem more alive and diverse. Next we are going to be talking about everyone's favorite sniper rifle, the No Land Beyond. More specifically, we are going to be discussing the inspiration behind this very odd weapon. Now if we look at the Grimoire card, it specifically mentions that Guardians went to Russia to look for this weapon. Well, one of the most prominent military people in Russia's history would be the World War II sniper Vasily Vestev. This man famously said, there is no land for us beyond the Volga. Now, the Volga is a river in Europe, but as you can see by that quote, it directly says no land beyond, which is the obvious source of this gun's name. Once again, it is really awesome to have some connections to real life events within Destiny, and it really makes me have a newfound appreciation for this weapon. The fourth thing that you guys did not know has to deal with the Skyburners Annex. Yes, the Hunter exotic helmet that almost no one uses. Did you guys know that this helmet can actually be seen on a Cabal Ultra within the Taking King story mode. It can be seen being worn by the Cabal Ultra Vr Orn during the mission where you have to stop the Cabal transmission on the Dreadnought. Actually, the flavor text of the exotic directly relates to this. It states, To die twice in a strange land, first by Orcs' hand and then by yours. This is actually referring to how the Cabal Ultra was taken far away from its home, where it was sent to come fight the war against us Guardians. Then it gets killed or taken by Oryx, and finally we finish it off in its taken form in the gameplay in the background. This is a pretty cool tie into the story mode, and I really think this gets overlooked too often. Now we have arrived at the final fact for this video. This actually has to do with the Exo Race in general. I'm pretty sure you guys have noticed that all the people of the Exo Race have strange numbers next to their names. For example, you have Cade 6 and Lakshmi 2. However, did you guys know that this actually refers to the number of times that these specific Exos have had their memory wiped? This is actually made apparent by some of Banshee 44's quotes. Throughout some of his quest lines, he makes specific mentions to things that he used to know but no longer remembers, especially in the quest line to obtain the sleeper simulant, he makes a lot of references to this kind of thing. Well, we can also hear him utter something very interesting. This is the quote, Ugh, how many times has my memory been wiped? 41? 42? 43? This is a clear reference to the number after his name, and thus shows us that the number of these Exo's names refers to how many times they have had their memory wiped. For example, since Cade has a 6, his memory has been wiped 5 times, and he is the 6th version of himself. This is a story mechanic that has not been clearly explained, but I am very eager to learn more about in future DLCs of Destiny. But that is going to wrap up today's video. Remember, if you guys did learn something, to leave a like rating. And also make sure that you share this video with your friends, family members, enemies, pets, 
Uh, if you know some thrall running around and you think they would like this information, go ahead and give it to them. Just anyone to help my channel grow. It's very appreciated. Click the annotation on screen to watch that video if you guys have not seen it yet. Finally, subscribe for more Destiny content, and I'll see you guys in my next video.